One of the key benefits Approval Max provides is that users don't need access to Xero or QuickBooks Online for bill creation. Both the creation and approval of bills can be done solely in Approval Max. Requesters that have been authorized in the bill workflow will see the new request button in the top right hand corner of the browser window on all pages that show a request from you or your organization. Click on the new request button. A window will open to show all available request types for each organization. Select the bill option for the organization that the new bill is intended for and click on create request. If you have been assigned to just one organization and you are allowed to create bills only for this organization, there will be no selection window. When you click on new requests in such an environment, the bill request form will open immediately. The request types available to a requester can vary. Let's start with a bill for a Xero organization. The bill creation form looks similar to the corresponding form in Xero. The supplier list is pulled automatically from Xero and you can choose from the drop down menu. By default, requesters are not allowed to create new contacts. But the administrator can change this setting for particular requesters. The administrator can also limit the suppliers you are allowed to use for your bill creation. The same options apply in QuickBooks Online. Approval Max pulls the vendor list from QuickBooks Online and the administrators of your organization can expand or limit your options. The bill creation form in QuickBooks Online can have different layouts, depending on your organization's settings and what information is used in QuickBooks Online. Approval Max supports all views. Category and item table together, only the category table, only the item table. Let's specify a category item for this particular bill. Administrators can mark class allocation as mandatory, so if you don't fill in these fields correctly, Approval Max will highlight them. Bills can contain attachments, like a PDF or a scan of the original document. The file types are limited to documents and images, like in QuickBooks Online. Selecting the products for a Xero-based bill is similar to the process in QuickBooks Online. There are two options for creating the line items in a bill. Select the item from Xero's inventory catalog by starting to type in the Item field or provide a product description in the description field. Fields can be mandatory here too. Optionally, tracking categories can be made mandatory as well. You can also attach files to your bill, like a scan of the original document. Of course, the file type restrictions from Xero do apply here. After a bill has been submitted for approval, you can still make some corrections by editing it. It is also possible to copy this bill as a basis for the next request or to cancel it. Congratulations! Your bill has been created. Below the bill you can see the workflow and who is responsible for approving your request. Thank you for watching our tutorial on how to create bills directly in Approval Max. For more options on how to create bills, please watch our other how-to videos.